So as far as rankings go, there is one city that always comes in at number one for best places to live, best place to raise a family, best schools, and that is the city of Weston. Okay guys, so we're here on the computer and we're gonna check out niche.com and Weston as far as the rating. So you can see right here, number one best places to live in Broward County, but how does it stack up nationally and throughout the state? So let's go to the overall rankings and you can kind of see here, we'll look at all the rankings. Also throughout the state of Florida, you can see the rankings right here. But let's go down a little more granular. Miami area means the Miami Metro, which is all of Southeast Florida. You can see the rankings, but as far as Broward County, the greater Fort Lauderdale area, you can see all number one uh, best places to, uh, to live, best suburb to live, best public schools. So those are the ratings for Weston. Okay, so not everything is perfect in Weston, and I'm going to give you the absolute truth uh, from my perspective in this video. Now, first of all, it's very, very expensive in Weston. So Weston comes in at number two as far as highest priced uh, cities or suburbs in the greater Fort Lauderdale area. That kind of is deceiving though. Parkland is number one, but think about Weston. There's more uh, choices as far as price points. There's a lot more condos, townhomes, things like that in Weston. Uh, Parkland is mostly single family homes and they're all in the upper price point, you know, like 800 and above. So that's why it's actually more expensive, but Weston is very, very expensive. So really what is it about Weston that makes it number one in niche.com's list? And is it really worth it? Now, the first thing I want to address is the weather. It's actually starting to rain on me again. I tried to do this video last week and I got totally swamped and rained out. And this is actually a question that's really on the top of a lot of people's minds that are actually relocating to uh, Florida and don't really know the area, weather and flooding. Let me get under a tree real quick while I discuss this. So weather and flooding. So is it an issue here in Weston? Well, the real answer to that is yes and no. Any place in Southeast Florida is prone to hurricanes. I know there's been a lot of talk and a lot of news lately about hurricanes and flooding. Last year we had Ian that pretty much decimated Fort Myers and the West Coast and we had recent flooding in Fort Lauderdale. Um, I don't think it was about a couple of months ago, which was kind of unprecedented. It's not really the norm down here. So here's what I could tell you as far as the weather and hurricanes and flooding. Uh, it's just a way of life for people that live here in Florida. They've kind of accepted it. It's probably something you're not gonna have to deal with all that often. I've been here since 2006. Six, I've had one year, which is my first year, that was pretty bad. Other than that, I don't even remember, or I can count on one hand the amount of times I had to put up my hurricane protection, but it always is a risk. Weston is more on the western edge, or it is on the western edge of the county, so you're away from the coast. If you're closer to the coast, it's going to be an issue, but if you do not want to deal with hurricanes in any way, if you don't want it to be uh, any part of the discussion, my advice to you is not to move to South Florida, or even Florida in general. Even last year with Ian, uh, it went right through the whole state across Orlando and really affected spots that weren't normally or that aren't normally affected by hurricanes. But again, I don't know, what is that? Okay, sorry, I think I got a lizard on top of me here. So um, again, if you don't wanna deal with hurricanes, you probably don't wanna move here to Southeast Florida, but you know, the norm is you're not gonna really have to worry too much about them unless you're closer to the coast. And flooding isn't really an issue unless we're getting a tropical storm or in case of the recent flooding we had in Fort Lauderdale, that was a once in 10,000 year storm. So it's not the norm. Now, one thing you need to know about Weston, it's a very beautiful city, very beautiful to look at. So you can see where I'm at here. This is a park that borders um, a community right here. It's kind of a gated community, but the whole Actually, the whole city of Weston is really beautiful. It was designed with aesthetics and beauty and green space in mind. So the developers did a really, really good job. It's like one big master plan community and it's very, very beautiful to look at. Tree-lined streets, a lot of landscaping. And another thing, if you look at Weston from an overview, you're gonna notice that there are not many uh, straight roads. Uh, South Florida, at least where I live, Plantation and all of Broward County is pretty much everything is in a grid, you know, straight streets. Um, but Weston is a lot different. 
it was planned a lot differently and it's a very beautiful place. Now also with Weston being designed with a lot of green space uh, involved, there's a lot of parks, a lot of jogging trails, a lot of, you know, walking trails. So a very, very good job as far as uh, making things for people to get outdoors and enjoy nature. Now what about your real estate options here in Weston? So you have a lot of different choices, a lot of unique different neighborhoods, some are gated, some are non-gated, that they all have their own unique charm. But you do have a lot of options as far as single family homes, condos and townhomes, even luxury estates as they're sounding the lightning alarm, I think that is, because again, the rain is coming in to hit me. But again, there's a lot of different choices uh, for different budgets here in Weston. Again, single family homes, especially if you're in a gated community, is gonna be kind of pricey. But all of the areas in Weston are really, really nicely planned out, very nice to look at, and there is an emphasis on safety as I get rained on. So this is a typical day in June in South Florida. Uh, beautiful weather, can turn on a dime and you can get hit with the rain. But I'm gonna finish this video no matter what. I got delayed last week, but hey, if you need to do something here in South Florida, especially film a video, make sure you get out early uh, so you don't get caught in the rain. It's basically almost, yeah, it's noon right now. So get out before noon. Uh, it seems like you'll be okay until then. Now, another thing about Wesson that they take great pride in is that it's a very family oriented area and they have great public and private schools. Okay, so we're back on niche.com and let's check out what it says about schools in Weston. And you can see as far as public schools, all A plus rated, also private schools as well, A plus rated. Uh, this is one resource to get school information. There are many others, but um, really one of the reasons why Weston is so popular with families are the schools. The school zones, all great schools. You can see it right here and do your own research. So this makes Weston an obvious choice for families that have kids that are still in school. Weston also has a bunch of community events and activities throughout the year. So there is a strong sense of community involvement throughout the city of Weston. Now, one of the negatives or cons about Weston from people that I talk to uh, that are considering the area is that they think it might be a little bit out of the way and there's not much to do in Weston. Okay, so if we come and look at uh, the location of Weston, let's check out where exactly it sits in Southeast Florida here. And you can kind of see, uh, if I zoom in a bit, it is right on the western edge. So some people think it's quite out of the way. Um, it is the furthest west you can go. It borders the Everglades right here. But as far as looking at it um, a little more further out, you can see how it relates to the rest of South Florida and where it is. So very, not really far to get to some other stuff here. So 28 miles across the county right there, but that is the location of Weston. That's why some people think it might be a little bit out of the way and might not be much to do there, but you can still go to any of these other cities and you know have access to all the amenities from uh, the nearby uh, cities and suburbs. Now, as far as things to do in Weston, a lot of the activities revolve around the uh, town center in Weston. So if we zoom in a little bit, you can kind of see uh, where this is and what it looks like. Another thing too, you can see a lot of the roads here in Weston, like I mentioned earlier in the video, none of them are straight, which is really what gives Weston its appeal and its aesthetics and makes it look so nice. But if we zoom in a little bit on the town center, you can see where it is. Uh, let me see if I can bring this in for like a street view. I think I could... Uh, do that yeah so let's you can come in and see what is going on at the town center yeah so you can see how nice it looks here so there's a bunch of different shops here a lot of restaurants um so a lot of things to do here directly in weston all your banks are here so weston town center definitely a place you want to check out in weston a lot of the activities revolve around this area now another thing interesting about Weston, and we talked about how expensive it is and how that could be a con. Uh, one thing about Weston are the property taxes. So it's very interesting. Uh, if you come uh, to the bcpa.net, which is our Broward County Property Appraisers website, it'll show you broken down by city or town how they um, estimate the taxes. And it's based on a millage rate. So if you come to this page and go over to the home buyer tax estimator right here, It'll tell you that it's based on the average millage rate of the Broward County municipalities. If you hit that 
uh, link right here. It'll show you all the different areas throughout the county and how they base the taxes. If you come over to Weston, you will notice it has one of the lowest or a couple of the lowest, let me zoom in a little bit, uh, millage rates throughout the county. So you can see 19, 20, 18, 22 in Hollywood, 20 in Deerfield, 21 in Margate. But when you come down to Weston, you could see 17.4 and 15.9. So uh, some of the lowest uh, taxes or tax millage rates throughout the county. So very interesting. Might offset a little bit of the prices you're going to pay uh, when buying some real estate in Weston. Now, one of the ways to get a feel for what it would be like to live in Weston or any other area is to check out some unbiased reviews. Now, I'm not allowed as a realtor to steer anybody towards a particular neighborhood, which is why we rely on resources like niche.com that rely on rankings and things like that. But let's check out some reviews from people that actually live in the city of Weston. Now, if you come to niche.com, again, this is one of the sites we use to source this type of information. They uh, they just grab a bunch of stats. There's another one, I think it's called bestplaces.net. Many others online where you can come and really get some information about a uh, particular area. And we come here, you could check out some of the reviews again. And these people are going to be extremely honest. So if you come here to the reviews, you can see, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see uh, excellent, 194, 164, very good. Some say average, some say poor. One says terrible. But if you go and look through all of them, they're going to be brutally honest. And these are just, um, you know, just regular people giving their unbiased public reviews of the area. So this one here... Um, place is wonderful area, best as public schools as its main, are its main selling point, one of the best public schools throughout, um, Western is a great place for raising a family, incredible safety, family oriented stores and businesses, great community to thrive in, this is another one here that talks about schools, we can go on and on, gorgeous city, like I mentioned, Western is very beautiful, but I would recommend coming here and reading some of these reviews for yourself. Again, this is niche.com. You can do this for Weston or any other city or suburb you're interested in finding out some more information on. So again, Weston is ranked number one in many, many categories throughout the county, but it just might not be a uh, fit for you. But the great news is there are many other areas throughout the county that might be perfect for you. And that is where we come in. Just hit me up at the number below and I'd love to be your real estate resource here in South Florida. We can go over all of the other neighborhoods and towns available to you. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, do so now and give it a thumbs up if you like the content. I would really, really appreciate that. And I will see you all on the next video. Take care.